everybody, it's Anna. Time for the Thursday card in this week's tarot story. So our Thursday card is another Major Arcana card. We have one on Monday. Major Arcana cards connect to big life lessons. And this one is actually the world. It's actually the final card in the Major Arcana. So it marks the completion of the entire trajectory of the Major Arcana. The Major Arcana is set up in sort of a series of lessons. This is the final lesson. So the world, if I turn it up right, you can see it's this woman sort of dancing. She's floating, dancing in midair. She's surrounded by a garland, which represents victory and power. Her her weightlessness is about perfect freedom. Her nakedness is, is about being completely in her own skin, perfectly comfortable being seen. So there's a very powerful experience of celebrating myself, acknowledging uh, my own powerfulness and my own, uh, the work that I've completed. So the world invites us to tell our story. We're at the end of a piece of work. It invites us to tell our story in such a way that we honor our own powerfulness and we set ourselves up for the next chapter because she is in this circle, right? The circle marks uh, the transition from an ending. She's completing one piece of work and it's a portal into the next piece of work. How we tell the story of our lives is important because telling our story is a mind it's what the mind does. The mind creates meaning of, of situations, right? In circumstances. So how the mind, the meaning the mind creates either supports us in feeling more optimistic, more possible, more expansive, or it, it, it kind of works against that for us. Because if we tell the story as though we are a victim, we've messed up, um, we've, uh, you know, we, we're, we have bad luck, or we didn't handle that well. If we keep telling the story of our lives that way, that our mind has learned we're not very good at this life thing and it doubts us. It doesn't feel confident. It isn't there recognized, doesn't recognize the powerfulness of our work, right? The, the world card though says, look back at your life in terms of a victory. You're going to tell your life as though you are the hero of the epic drama, right? So yes, you had challenges, but man, you came through them and you were able to be faithful. There's a piece of genius in you that even when you, you couldn't quite find it, it was still talking to you. You could still hear it. You're still making your way forward based on this piece of genius. So, so it's the, it's the mind looking back at the, at your story, telling your life in such a way that you are the epic hero, not perfect, the perfect hero, not that you always knew everything because that's not even a true story. But even when you didn't know what you were doing, looking back, you can see there was purpose. There was passion. There was, there was um, genius to what you did. It's always in how you tell the story, right? So the reversal suggests to me that maybe we're not quite telling the story in the best light. We've got some judgment around it. We've got some feelings of victimhood. Maybe there's still some pain that that's sort of playing in and, and our minds are I'm not happy with that pain. So it's telling the story like, well, we messed, if only we could have done that better. We didn't do that quite right. That person was mean, whatever the story is, right? The mind is, is a little bit hung up in some, in something that went wrong. The mind decided something went wrong. Um, so we want to figure out why the mind thinks something went wrong <laughs> and, and challenge it to consider the opposite. Like what if everything went right? How does this work out in such a way that everything's for the betterment? So, for example, like um, you get fired from a job and, and it's devastating to the mind because the mind's like, hey, what did we do wrong? Oh, that's not fair. Whatever the story is. Right. But then when you're released from that job, um, like a week later, this other possibility opens up and it is so much a better job for you. Another opportunity opens up and you're available to that opportunity because the first job ended right? It's not, the mind did not know that was going to happen. That's why the mind's kind of rattled and confused. But when it looks back at that story, it can say, oh, look at that. I got fired. But that ended up being actually very positive for me because I had this other opportunity that I would not have been available for otherwise, right? So, so we want the mind to get creative and light on its feet, to not get so caught in its own expectations of how things should go and instead open to the possibility that everything that happens is somehow moving in blessing. And the reason that's important, I think, is because um, we are talking about, we started this week on Hanged Man Reversed, which is um, some, some internal shifting has happened. We are ready to start a new path. When you're starting a new path, you are stepping into the unknown, right? Which the mind is always a little bit uncomfortable with. But if the mind has a really fabulous story backing it up where it says, you know what? We've walked into the unknown before. And yeah, it's a little bit scary and there's a little bit of discomfort there. But my goodness, all the blessings we've been able to evoke, we are really good at the unknown. We're really excited. We are the hero of our own story. And so the mind is supported in saying, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. And I'm not crazy about that all the time. 
but I have confidence. There's something in me that knows what it's doing. And the mind begins to trust that authority, not its own authority of being able to plan everything and see everything, but the internal authority, which is what we talked about yesterday with the King of Wands reverse. The idea that it's not, the outside world's not where you're getting your data. It's not where you're getting your authority. It's something internal. Your mind begins to trust that internal authority and it's ready to try something new. So I'll see you tomorrow for our last card. Bye.